So hello, and welcome back to Gamer Coins and Banknotes. And in today's video, we are going to do a quick analysis of Queen Elizabeth the second penny. Uh, half penny, should I say? So that's the first mistake I made. So here I have the whole date series of half pennies from 1953 to 1964. So you're thinking well, that gives you 11 years. Well, it does actually. Uh, 12 years. But as you can see, there's only nine coins here. So there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But it's only got nine. So why is that? Well, between 1954, uh, 1955, should I say, and 1959. They didn't issue any half pennies. So this is the coin denomination of Queen Elizabeth II that was missing the most coins. The only other coin that is missing a date is the penny with a no 1954s minted. All the silver coins have every year have a coin mintage. From 1953 to 1964, but if you get a coin in between from 1956 to 1758, it could be a trial strike, which I don't believe would belong to the public. Uh, the probably still the property of the Royal Australian Mint and probably also uh, probably the Reserve Bank, or it could be a fake. Okay, so that deals with that. So these are just normal kangaroo coins with the crew the grey kangaroo. And on the back we have the this is Mary Gillick portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh need to if you're not too sure, there's lots of online references you can use to find out. To actually design stuff, and if you go to Wikipedia, you can actually find out a lot of information about the designer. But I'm going to use the Renix catalog, uh, which gives you just open up, yeah, yeah, Mary Gillick, Thomas Paget, Dundee, uh, Georgia Six. Okay, so that's uh, if you're interested in these coins, just uh, have a quick reference of. Who she is. Okay, so this can actually be separated into three different types. Okay, we've got the, the 53, 54, 55. If you take the 55 and the 59, you turn it around, and what we're missing on the earlier coins 53, 54, 55, you see. Did I defend it? So the FD that was only put on coins from 1959 for this denomination. And the first three are uh, missing that inscription. So this is the type 6. So this is the type 6 obverse, and this is the type 7 obverse. The only ever difference is that. This one, identical, so if you're not too familiar with what identical is, it is these dots on the side, they're called identicals. Uh, this coin should have 112. So 1953 to 55, type 6, 112. Uh, the 1959 to 64 should have 110. So there's, and if you want to count them, Good luck with that. But you can see the later coins actually have large identities. So that is the first difference. Okay, so those that go down south. Okay, the second difference has to do with the reverse, which is the reverse is the kangaroo. The obverse has the effigy. And in 1959 to 1962, so we have these ones. Uh, we have the B, so the B reverse, 
has and these the B reverse also includes 953, 54, and 55. So these are all B reverses. So that means there's 106 denticles, each thick and thin. So if you uh, if you get a close up, so there's the thick one, and in between you got a thin one. Should be 106 each. So in total, this should be 212 if you're inclined to count. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that. Mm, it's like a card. Yeah. Anyway, we're not talking about that. Uh, we'll focus on that in the uh, relevant videos. Okay, so that's and the H and penny should align with the thin denticle. So if you get the H, go down there, thin, and that one also aligns with the thin. And the last two years, 953, 54, these have 104 denticles, so a lot less. And the H should align up, and let me just take two. The H should line up with the thick denticles. So let's try and make this very clear. Okay. So we have the H lines up thick denticles, H lines up the thin denticles. And the same with this one, lines up thick denticles, lines up the thin. And you can see quite clearly that there's a, these are a lot less squished together. These ones look really crowded. So just you know, get a few of them. Put them together, and you can see the actual difference. Even though on Australian half pennies, are a lot of the time, uh, the mintage of the actual uh, edging is uh, quite poor. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Uh, most of the other coin design is actually okay. Lettering can be a little bit weakly struck, but you can see the denticle here look a bit crowded, 1960s. So basically, uh, those are the different varieties that you're going to find initially. Okay, let me just put this together again. Okay, so for the first part, this is obverse 6, reverse B. These ones are obverse uh, 7. Reverse B, and this one is obverse seven. Reverse E. So the this is the reverse, and this is the obverse. Now I was getting a bit long. So that's the basic introduction to Australian half pennies. None of these are scarce. None of them have a mintage of you know, I think less than nine million. So it should be a very easy coin to get. And you can see a lot of the coins that I have are in high grade, but a lot of them didn't circulate. And you find that especially for the coins issued in the 1960s. So what I'm gonna do is gonna do a video on each of these. I think I already had these last two, 63 and 1964. So I'll make another video on those because maybe I've missed some information out in the past. So I hope this helps you with your coins and banknote collecting. Let me know what you think. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.